This is a comedy journey. <laughs> it's a seagull that's really loud. Can you hear that? You can't sleep here. I got no food. You got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. Shut up, I'm making a video. You're ruining the video. Volume's too loud. Push the button. I didn't even see it. Come on. Seb Cabs. <laughs> Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, guys. What's up? My name's Seb, this is the camp. Boom. This is Seb Cam. This is day three. Riding through the night. I've had it with this dump! I've got no money. <laughs> I got no food. You got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. We got no food. We got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off! <laughs> I got no camera. And somehow I'm making an online video adventure of my journey, but you can't see it. So it's a very frustrating and strange situation to be in. It's late at night, I've got no money to even eat, but I've gone to a coffee shop that's open till like quite late, it was open till like midnight or something. So I'm like, I can edit here, I can use the plugs, um, and I'll just you know, use it as an editing station, basically. I, I use coffee shops as my uh, office. That's what I call it now. I, I, because it's got electricity and Wi-Fi, I just refer to it as the office, which is very um, valuable because my office is everywhere. <laughs> so wherever I go, whatever country, whatever town, whatever city, whatever place and time, there's always an office plugs and Wi-Fi somewhere. So in this particular office, there were some very friendly, helpful people, I remember, because they gave me muffins. But I'm gonna push the button. Push the button! Yeah, I'm Knight Rider! Oh, 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 oh. Quite obnoxious uh, intro music. The volume's too loud! <laughs> Yeah. Um, Sebcam reporting. In Oxnard, uh, it's kind of late now. It's Oxnard. getting dark. I think it's about seven o'clock. Um, so all the shops are closing. I'm trying to blag a camera from anywhere. Oh, uh, right. Walmart, Best Buy. Yeah, before um, I got to the coffee it's shop and the muffins, well. I've got a recording. I went to the, the shops. Best Buy conversation. So I'll Best Buy. insert that here for you. Best Buy, Walmart, all these different places. I'm like, can you give me a camera? Yeah, no one's going to just give you a camera. Right? It's not accepting the tapes. So I'm wondering if we could either attempt to play it somehow, or if we could just do I can't do an donation. <laughs> Bless them. I mean, they just work there, you know. But I just thought they might be helpful. But what I learned is big corporations, they're not likely to be helpful. If it was a small guy in a camera shop, he probably would be helpful. He offered I can buy one. Like, of course, I know. <laughs> You're a shop. I know you can sell me a camera. I didn't even see it. Come on. I would have thought of that. Later that night, I think this is the coffee shop. Yeah, wow. Almost midnight, I'm in a coffee shop with Anthony. Yes, thank you, Anthony. And Maciel. And Maciel, thank you both. And they've given me their leftover coffee cakes and things. I've got a massive. Real people, loving people who are like, yo, we got coffee cakes, muffins. Flapjacks, bagels. And I have to ride through the night on a freeway. On different freeways, we've been discussing how to get there. So yeah, they're helping me with the route. Camera tomorrow as well. That's the plan. Over and out. Over and out. So this is what I enjoy as well. Uh, of course, I'm enjoying having no money and I'm enjoying having no camera. But it's also enjoyable to have no plan or map as such. I use a map so I can often so I can show you guys where I am but I'm not personally using the map because there's road signs everywhere that say you know the next big town this way this many miles or whatever and 
There's people like Anthony and Massiel who are going to say, oh, you know, you know, they have local information. You know, you should really go to this place, or we suggest you should go there, or it will be a nice view if you go along this path or whatever. So that kind of information it, you can't get from a map. I'd much rather have the interaction with the real person who can guide me and direct me in an awesome way than just, you know, sit completely disconnected from everyone, look at a map and just set off quietly and I also I love how I'm referring it to uh, referring to the journey and myself as this is a comedy journey <laughs> so I'm like yeah good point it is funny I'm not meant to be like a serious like I'm a bike a tour de France guy you know tour de America I'm not doing uh, an athletic feat I'm just on a comedy comedy tour <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I like how I introduce it to people because you should be able to summarize and introduce your concept to someone in one sentence, you know, especially if you're in an awkward situation where you need to ask lots of people, can you help me? I'm doing this thing. So I seem to be referring to it as I'm riding my bike. So they get that on a comedy journey from A to B. That's it. Boom. And dot 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 to be continued. Cause it's a seagull, it's really loud. Can you hear that? Arr, arr, arr. Shut up, making a video. You're ruining the video right now. But it didn't work. I thought it worked for a minute. I was like, it worked. No, it didn't work. Shush, nature, will you please be quiet? We've got people inside the camera. <laughs> been speaking to some people about my uh, destination and my route and the combination is the fact that I don't have a camera so I need to continue. I want to continue oh, this is what I was saying, yeah, so they're helping me with the route. But at the same time I want to be able to keep hunting for a camera along the way. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm going to take a diversion here on my route. I was going to go um, off towards Santa Barbara and continue riding along the coast, basically, as I have been, because uh, I figured that would be a nice ride. <laughs> yeah, I envisioned right. being on the coast very more. Little civilization, so I'm just going to be... And people were like, nah, there there's nothing the there. So I've decided to kind of do a funny loop that will take me by... <laughs> I'm almost doing a circle! Like Fillmore and Civilization Santa Clarita. Right. Um... Maybe I can try and get a camera there, and then it would have been much quicker just to ride to Santa Clarita. <laughs> right on the uh, Highway Five or Interstate Five or whatever it's called. So that's around Santa Clarita. So then I can maybe uh, make a ride with a trucker, and that will take me. Yeah, you know, someone had told me in Santa Clarita there's a truck the stop, camera. there's a main Highway so Five. You can, you, can, you should go there. Sort of explain my journey and. You know, show you these maps if they let me go along the coast to Santa Barbara, there'll be nothing. <laughs> just um, no one, this camera no one around, really no civilization. But I've got to carry on, so I'm going to do it. And thank you for all the encouragement from everyone, and you know, keep your chin up and all that. It really keep your chin up. The problem is, um, the way to get to Santa Clarita is over mountains. Here, you know? That's Whether what I didn't mention. You've got to be able to see the journey. That's the most important thing. Along the beach is normally flat. I'm right? going to continue. I'm going to ride through the night now. That's the plan. Night uh, rider. To try and make up for some time. <laughs> it's one o'clock in the morning, I think, now. Um, you can make up more miles in the dark, going. you know? Apparently it's going to be very dark. It's not like amazing. And the road is empty. Or anything. It's, it's not particularly dangerous. There's no one out there. Through some mountains and fields in the middle of nowhere. But it should bring me out into some civilization. The jerk. There's so, a yeah, sign that says jerk. Night riding. <laughs> 4 a.m. Yeah, I mean, you've got the whole place to yourself at those kind of times at night. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've been stopped by the highway patrol here. On oh, yeah. Highway 118 for riding my bike in the dark. At 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah, why are you out here at 4 a.m. basically is what they said. Yeah, I've done it in a very roundabout way because I went from Hollywood to Santa Monica. So I was like, yeah, I'm at the beach and then went up to Malibu and then I've kind of come across from Malibu. Wow, there's a whole crew. Stop by the police, yeah, a few of them all pull up. What's going on? 
I'm not just riding my bike. <laughs> The county sheriff? They're out of Ventura and they're not allowed to follow them anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. Santa Clarita's up here along the side. Yeah. Because I ultimately want to get to the And now, again, they're helping me. They're getting a map. They get a flashlight. They're showing me what way to go. Only I would, but I don't have time. It's because I only have 10 days. And I had almost taken a kind of a wrong turn as well. Because it's dark. If you went out to the 126, you See, you go. go on so the 126. <laughs> right, so he's directing me on a better road that's no, not a main road, road which is where they stop me. It's more of like a country lane over the mountain, and it goes, like he said, it goes directly where I want to go, but it's really steep. It's a canyon. So I've been riding for quite a while. I'm going to stay Sounding up all night. Sounding tired. Uh, tired. Yeah, I remember this. I'm going to stay up all night. I was on the phone to people like, I'm going to ride all night. I don't need to sleep. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? There's no way to go. So instead I went straight ahead into the lemon tree orchards. Yeah. Which is where I am now. Beautiful. I'm going to camp under a lemon tree. Okay. <laughs> Who else can claim they've slept under a lemon tree? <laughs> Who else can Not claim that? People, I right. So, I'm pretty tired. You can Amazingly up comfortable voice. under a lemon tree. Um, so, as you can see. Because all the leaves have like fallen down and made kind of a bed. And I scraped some extra leaves up, you know, and just made like a cushy, comfy pad to lay down on. One broken can, loads of lemons. I don't think I've got a sleeping pad. <laughs> um, from what I remember, I just had a tent and a sleeping bag, and then I figure I'll just lay on the floor. Like, so far my night's sleep has been on the uh, sand of Malibu Beach, and now I'm on the cushy, comfy uh, lemon leaves, and so I'm just... I don't think I've got a sleeping pad. It's not something I could afford. It's not something I, I've got on the bike anywhere. And um, that is quite a good minimalistic way to go. If you've got to lose something and the temperature's bearable, then you can sleep pretty much on the ground. Ah, there's a wasp! Won't well, go away! There you go, yeah, that worked. <laughs> um, it's not advisable if you want a really, really good night's sleep, because if you are cold, the, the the, you know, the ground will be cold and you won't sleep very well. As, regardless of it being kind of hard and lumpy and uncomfortable, it will just be so cold touching the ground. So it is good to get a sleeping mat of some sort. Um, I would suggest inflatable ones. I think they're the best because they obviously they pack down much smaller. But depending on your situation, maybe packing down small isn't an issue for you. But if I can use something inflatable instead of having to carry a big bloody roll out mat, like a yoga mat kind of style, then I'm definitely going to go with an inflatable option. But tonight, no inflatables, just lemon leaves. That's beautiful. And I remember waking up there, you know, because I'd gone to bed at like the morning. So I slept while it was daylight. And I just woke up like. <sighs> Oh, it feels so comfy and I just felt like this is luxury, like I'm loving, let's forget for a minute about the camera problems and all that, I'm on the adventure, I'm sleeping under lemons and limes and whatever, I'm like, this is beautiful, I'm so comfy, no one's bothering me, you know, it's not like some farmer has come along or someone's going to tell me, you can't sleep here, like, I'm not there for long enough to cause any kind of problem i feel completely safe because there's just no one around i've i've walked quite deep into the orchard so i'm not just like on the edge by the road i can't be seen from anywhere and i got the whole place to myself i'm like out in nature and you know i even saved a few little lemons took them with me and uh it's just it's another highlight you know where you sleep i think should be Important, like important. What do I mean? What what I mean is, you should enjoy where you sleep because what you're gonna wake up there. When you wake up in the morning, you should be like, yes, I live here. You know, I sleep here. 
Like, yes, I'm on Malibu Beach. Yes, I'm under a lemon tree. Like, woo, this is good. I don't want to wake up like, oh, I'm sleeping in some crap alleyway somewhere. Or, um, I don't know, I'm sleeping in the back of a dumpster truck. Like, you see what I mean? The difference? Or you wake up in your bedroom and you're like, I hate this apartment. This is crap. Why do I live here? Like, if you got those kind of questions in your mind, you should move. <laughs> you should go somewhere else. Sleep somewhere else. Like, you should never wake up and think, oh, well, this sucks. Because if that's your feeling, yeah, move. I love you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Monkeys. My name is Seb. This is Cam. Boom! This is Seb Cam. See you next time. Take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. It's Seb Cam. <laughs>